Hello and welcome everybody to a new gameplay session of some new game that has recently popped up there and it's Alina of the Arena. I have a hard time pronouncing that name without having the uh, simultaneous uh, urge to cringe and giggle weirdly. But uh, that doesn't really matter too much. We're going to dive right into this wonderful innovative uh, deck builder. I've only played a couple of minutes, but these couple of minutes already convinced me that this game deserves my time and your guys' attention. So we are going to start on out here. Just played a little bit through the tutorial, and uh, in in every uh, sim single regard, this is a very classic uh, fighting game. You have this enemy here. You see his intention. He wants to deal damage to us. We have a hand of cards. We have action points. A draw pile. There's nothing uh, too particularly uh, innovative here, but let's uh, wait until we uh, until we get to fight. So this guy has 13 HP, and that means it's uh, a little bit too much for us to uh, to last through that. So uh, well, or, or or just kill him in one go. I have three strikes that would be only 12 points of damage, so that's not enough. Also, keep in mind that here there are items uh, everywhere, so you can use your the items on the ground. Total, in general, this game has a lot of uh, use your environment to your advantage gameplay. Yeah. So, wind up doubles the next attack. Oh, we can use that. Wind up. And, uh, good enough. So, we win and we get to select a card. So far, so classy. What do we have here? Um, opener, gain 10 block. Mm -hmm, okay. Retribution, gain block, gain vengeance. When attacked this turn, gain focus equal to 50% of the damage received. Focus, the next combat you attack with deals one additional damage, all right? So this basically empowers my next attack whenever I get hit. Fireball, all right. Area damage, burn. Okay, fire starter creates flaming tiles. Awesome. I want to try out the fireball. Hey, Void, welcome. Happy to see you, mate. Enjoy your stay. And we get ourselves a rusty sword. I get now to decide whether I want to equip the rusty sword on the red slot or on the blue slot. This uh, doesn't make sense in the fir at the first glance, but uh, it will do in a second. So... We get now to select what we want to do next. I want to go for an event. You there, wait! A crooked old man approaches you with a sword in his arms. Take this blade, it has chosen you as a master. You must have it. Alright, soul feeder. Cost is non-lethal. Alright, cannot kill me. Permanently raise increased damage by one when you kill an enemy. Sick. All right, but all the attacks there uh, require HP to cast them. So, Raphael, hi there. So it's a so far as I as far as I know, it's a very classy uh, deck builder game. I I don't know what how it was in the beta void. It was one of the games where which I totally flagged as I'm going to try out once it's done. It has 1.2k positive or very positive reviews with 1.2k reviews. That's why I wanted to check it out. The first few minutes really really felt damn good. So do we want to do that? Yeah, let's try that. Come on. This goes on the blue slot now. Oh, it can't be unequipped. Um, Alright, I'm passing. Then not. I'm, I'm too noob for something like that. I'm passing on this and I'll get 12 gold for passing on this. And you see now, this thing here has uh, has dissolved now. So, elite fight or regular fight? I'm a, I'm a wuss. Let's go for a regular fight. Paper boy, welcome! So, here we see the enemy intents. We see they want to attack around them. And uh, since I got myself a nice fireball spell, mm, too bad that I can't uh, toss it. So, uh, burn. Take one direct damage at the end of this turn. Stack decreases each turn to burn. So, we're going to fling that guy on uh, that thing on this guy. Because this way, we uh, we got rid of him, you know. And 
of the turn. So it ain't really necessary, um, or, well, no. It, it, there's no real benefit in ending turns um, with energy left and cards on your hand, because at the end of the turn I lose all my cards and I lose all my energy. So it's always better to, to spend all your stuff in the first place. So here, we have the situation. This guy wants to attack me, this guy wants to attack me. Slam shoves the enemy and me forward. So here we go. This guy's spiky, so it sucks a little bit to attack him, but whatever. And uh, we're going to slap a block on ourselves and strike. I probably should have blocked in the first place. Oh well. And as you see here, Due to my movement, this guy is not able to attack me anymore, and uh, I can end that turn. This game has an in extreme incentive on uh, on using your um, movements uh, dynamically, and it, and it rocks. It's really fun to play this, in my personal opinion. So here we start the turn every tur every time with an initiative card, which allows me to move a, a grid. And uh, here, uh, there's a stone on the ground. How can I use that? Ah, here. Rock. Consumable. So we can now fling that at this guy. Didn't cost me any action points. I just had that here. And uh, we just end our turn. I don't know if there's any uh, reward for killing off the enemy fast or anything. Not sure about that. Crippling Trap. Deals 4 damage when stepped on. Ooh, okay. But that's a consumable. Or is it hmm, well, a little bit weirded out about that? So this guy wants to attack me for a six, so we're going to slap two blocks on ourselves. Whack him. That's a controlled situation. There's really not much that uh, we need to worry about here. And here, well, he wants to attack me. I got no block, so i rather use the initiative card and uh, fling a fireball on him and solve the situation like that. I personally like the fact that this game works so much with uh, dynamic movement and uh, using your um, character's movement to win the fights. This is very, very... I hope... I really count on this mechanic to be a lot of fun because that's what's making this game stand out from uh, the rest of its kin. Very, very well so. So, Entertainer. Deal 14 damage if target is killed. Receive rewards from the audience. Now that sounds like fun. It's also a 14 damage attack. Exhaust means we get to use it only once, though. Beef up is pretty... T is pretty uh, oh, that's hard. That's pretty good, too. I mean, more damage, period. Or a heavy attack. Mm. Let's take the Entertainer. I suck at this game for sure. Let's pick up things that are fun. So, let's see. Oh, I get to keep the Crippling Trap. So, now all blue cards will gain block, and all red cards will gain one extra attack. I don't know. Ah, I can put that into my pocket. Oh, let's do this. Does this game have any perk system? I have no clue, honestly, how it uh, exactly works like that. It has a uh, item menu. That's one thing that I already uh, found out. So... Let's go meditating and create something. Gain 2 block and 2 hardy. Increase block gain from cards in your hand by 1 per stack. Ooh, okay. I see. Fortify for those really crappy turns. <laughs> Improvise. Deal 5 damage, draw 1 card. I like that. Conserve. Gain efficient. No, I want that. I love cards that replace themselves. So there we go, another event. Let's see, a greasy looking healer with the most disingenuous grin you've ever seen approaches you to offer his services. Alright, so... Uh, 150 gold, increase max HP, that would be really nice. So, obviously I seem to be able to uh, go through these as I see fit. I only have to uh, go through three fights more, or win three fights more to... Uh, to get to win that. So, oh, it's too bad that I don't have the uh, ability to use the Entertainer to kill off that guy. So, here. I want to take a uh, step towards here, but, uh, well, let's see, wind up. Let's see if I can use that uh, one 
turn in between and let's put that crippling trap there and let's see do i keep the kinetic stack or not all right that went down well unlike block your blocks enemy block is not removed each turn all right i see but when they got ah they get stunned so Ooh, nifty i like that so my next attack will deal double damage so well it's enough to take the fella down why did i deal now 16 and not only 10. Hmm. rusty dagger Ooh, apply bleed whenever you deal unblocked damage mm, tasty all right so this guy is coming on in but i don't know what i should do about that all right 11 damage incoming mm. I don't see any bigger benefit in uh, letting myself get whacked like that. So, uh... Ah, here. Ah, this, this fireball can only travel straight lines. I see. Why did he move? Oh, whatever. Let's throw a rock at his face. Alright, so uh, he's going to get stunned when I achieve to uh, reduce his shield to zero so now he's stunned wonderful you know what we're going to slam him too because you know i'm on a roll there's another stone and uh here's a combo rating obviously the crowd loves me comboing so all right 19 damage we need to uh br bring up there so wind up would be 10 that would be not enough so we're going to step one right away and uh set that boy on fire so uh, all right he plans to uh, go for another guard it's actually not too not dumb at all but he's burning so i let him be all right so weakening trap ah i i can't only use that while it's the while it's on the ground i see don't get to pick up things on the ground so this guy has now rocking 16 uh 16 hp of defense so i don't know is it just is it a uh ability of his to uh, ignore uh, to jump away from these things all right but he wins now dirty tricks just like it's fit for a arena fighter change tactics select cards to discard from your hand then draw as many cards that's pretty cool empty mind select cards to exhaust from your hand gain focus and serenity so uh what's serenity gain focus each turn wow all right that's cool that's pretty cool fire surge apply three burn to enemies within a frontal diamond hmm well i want to change tactics because it's really awesome to have uh, an effect that allows you to uh, swap stuff so weakening trap goes here so now i could uh, add in a uh so well i'm going to go for a rusty dagger and the rusty sword. I'm not a big fan of the rusty shield so far. Rather go for more bang. Okay, so win two more fights to face a champion. Let's go for an elite fight. Let's dare ourselves something. Warrior's Pride plus one. Gain one strength whenever you play a card that is not a combat card. Okay. This guy will probably hit like a truck sooner or later. So here we get, uh, well, too bad that I don't have enough uh, energy available. I'll move there. Mm, strength plus one, I see. I think this arena setting is the remaining game. I have no clue though, honestly. Let's use the wind up because I learned that uh, the effect there is uh, is to stay. 
So 25 block on this fella. Wow. But we're going to get through this. Um, yeah. So. 10 damage. So I'm unable to kill off this guy, so I'm going to block for the remaining turn. Definitely want to kill off his minions before I, uh, before I go for the rest of the bunch. So, here we're a little bit, uh, surrounded, but honestly, not that much of a big deal. Alrighty, so, what's that? Spear, increased damage by one. Attack two tiles, two-handed weapon, alright. This equipment system of the game is also really cool, like, uh, very innovative. So, Strike and Entertainer. So, what does the crowd give me now? Bomb. A flaming sword. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Ah, okay. He's, uh, he's been waiting for that to happen. This, uh, doesn't come as a big surprise here. So, Bomb. Well, well, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to let him come closer and uh, bomb him then. So, all right, these things seem to have a knockback. That's the that that's just what it is. So wind up. I mean, I, I do not care about how much strength this guy has or not. Because at the end of the day, I, I'm i somewhat certain that my battle plan will not really be facing him face, uh, face on or, or something like that, you know. So, let's go. Initiative. Fireball. Oh, I stunned him with that. Okay. okay. Whatever. He's burning, so that's fine. He's still stunned for another turn, so we're just going to sit here and wind up. Alright. He's now heavily burning. Yeah, my dude, you uh, shouldn't be playing it like that. So let's uh, see if he's, if he's dumb enough to uh, step into the weakening trap. Yep, he is, so... Boom. Let's see. Well... There's 15 damage incoming. If I'd be tolerating that, I'd be really dumb. There's no reason to. So let's just, uh... Let the fire do its job and, uh, see what this guy... Oh, well, look at that. Fireball is an amazing spell. That's one thing I'm absolutely, uh, sure about already. So... We're gonna be stunning him with the next attack, so that's really good. So... One strike. I'm going to strike him regularly and keep the wind up um, for the next turn. Probably gonna be able to burst him down this turn. That would be amazing. So let's see. I got really not enough uh, stuff on my hand, so we're just going to kite away. Oh, he's still stunned. Damn it. Didn't realize. Alright, whatever. Here goes the next fireball, big boy. What a wicked strategy. Alright. So, well. Let's see. Is the burn... Yeah, the burn is not uh, mitigated by the block, so that's really, really good. Terrorize. Unlocked. Apply one weak to all enemies. Alright. Select a new card. Muscle Memory. Select one card from your hand that costs more than one, and reduce its cost to one for this fight. That's amazing if you have a very costly spell at your disposal. Blind with weakness. Bloody Trap. Okay. Final Blow. Increase damage by two each time the card is retained in this fight, so no discard at the end of the turn. Shuffle. Switch positions with a target. Pretty amazing, too. I'm going to take the blind, because uh, good old-fashioned uh, damage mitigation. So, Flaming Sword, hell yeah. 
Crippling Trap will come in handy. I don't want a two-handed weapon, though, thank you. Alright. So I think it's a good spot to uh, go shopping. So, items or cards? Do I have to decide where the war, huh? Well, let's check out the items. I want to know what's... Uh, add power moves. Alright. Shield Potion, Ward Potion, Triple Fists, Imperial Longsword. Select a weapon to increase its power moves. Okay. That's a two-handed weapon. Power move effect. Enter strike mode deal knockback okay so there's a lot of things that i don't see right now upgrade stat select a weapon to increase its stat yes please can we do that several times yes we do i'm not sure if the rusty dagger is uh worth my uh ow well, whatever i'm new here i'm allowed to do crappy decisions I bet that I'll be replacing that in no time, but whatever. Gain block, gain magic shield. Leaving the shop will conclude the event. Alright, so either fidgeting around with your items or the other, uh, or um, buying a new card. Oh, I wish I had a fireball. Come on, let's uh, try change tactics. Select cards to discard. Yes, all of them, please. Ah, that would have been so great, but whatever. So, this guy is charging through here. I do have a trap, so let's place it down here. No, this game just left early access uh, the other day. That's uh, why I feel like uh, felt like featuring it now. So, these are all spiky boys, so we have to uh, guard ourselves. Overall, I'm in a pr pretty crappy situation right now, so... Searing Blowgun. Cool. There's so many items in this game. This is this is really a really fun aspect. So I think I really, really played this turn ter terribly. I should have moved in the first turn. Instead of getting myself so uh so cornered like that. So we're going to uh play a guard, a slam, and an improvise. There we go. Bam. Aw, oh, the sucker. I totally underestimated that they are allowed to do that. So this guy is dead. Oh. Mm. Hand axe. Increased damage by three. Yeah, I'm I, I'm taking a lot of damage this uh, fight, but that's okay. I've been surprised in the first place that I... Uh, went through all of this without, uh, without without more punishment, so here, this guy is going to take another shot at me, only if I allow him to. Let's give him a nice fireball in response. Yeah, that's all it takes. Or does it? Another fireball in your face. Heavy rain. Deal 8 damage. If damage is dealt, draw a random heavy rain from the draw pile and reduce its cost. Holy crap. I want that. <laughs> Follow up. Uh, deal 2 damage. Whenever you move, return this card from the discard pile to your hand. Cool. Concentration. Gain to focus each turn. That's pretty good. But I want that. Gotta say, the cards are so far really cool. There's a lot of fun with that. Apply Pyrophobia. Receive additional burn whenever burn is received. Cool. But it's only uh, applying that debuff and it's doing nothing else. Searing Ashes. Interrupt and apply 3 Pyrophobia to enemies within a frontal arc. I wonder what the interrupt means. It could... I would assume that this means that the... Um, enemy is uh, stopping their action, but uh, we'll see about that. So, let's rest up. I mean, I 
got quite a beating. Okay, 35 HP with the rest. So uh, I would be allowed to grind this through. Interesting. But since there is no experience system... Hmm. Okay, it's a weird decision, gotta say. So, cards, I'll see. Ignite, final blow. What's final blow? Ah, that's the one with the retain, right. Swipe, tack three directions within a frontal arc. Oh yeah. Cleave. Leverage. <gasps> if damage is dealt, move one tile back. Yes, please. This is so good. I want that. Oh, I can't remove a card now. But I can't sell items. Well. No. Alright, whatever. My deck's too large, you know. So we could now, could now fight uh, weaklings, but... Uh, ah, you get healing for the remaining ones. Alright. So, things are learned. Spiderling. Spider Queen spawns eggs and uh, cannot be pulled or knocked back. Um, there is no class. You're just selecting the character that you see here right from the get-go. And uh, you define your character by via the skills that uh, you're playing. It's like more getting defined by the cards. Yuck. Alrighty, so let's uh, move ourselves away from that. Searing blowgun. There's a cleave in that direction. Alright. Spiderling hatched. So, uh, well. Mm, here, let's do this. Move backwards. Select one card to remove. Ah, okay. Yeah. And let's uh, slap a wind up. There we go. Okay, that thing tends to uh, spawn eggs again. Ah, here, the red. Uh, the red marks are there. So I'd say we're going to move and then I'll slap up a change tactics. Hope for a fireball. Okay. Take another wind up too. No problem. Alright, there's the entirety of these guys now. So Oh well, I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of my kinetic stacks, but whatever. Can't change it, I guess. The position I'm in is a little bit uh, bad. Because it's easy to surround me at this uh, rate, you know. So, there is a fireball available for me. Sucks. So, uh, well, 22 damage, but uh, if I see that correctly, only in that one direction. Worth paying attention there. So, yeah. Let's clap down some damage on that thing. we go. So... Oh, I got stunned. Bad. Alrighty, so how are we going to deal with this stun? Whenever this card is in your hand, increase cost of all movement cards by one. Cannot be stacked. Alright. I see. So... Still worth doing this. Because I have no interest in getting spidered here. Alright. So, there's the leverage again. But I. Yeah, let's do 
this. And let's do a wind up. Alright, this is a bad situation to be in. Especially since I don't have any other movement cards now, so, uh... I can't do anything about the situation I'm in. That's bad. That's really, really bad. But I, I see how I got here, so, uh, you know... Can't only blame that on myself. wants to spawn eggs again. Well, this ranged attack with 13 damage. Let's see what the Searing Ashes do here. Interrupted. Yeah. That's the one-time uh, effect there. That gives me some uh, brief respite. Let's clap some uh, burn stacks on that thing. Here we can We can use that. Oh, this is such a waste, but whatever. Or wait a sec. Wind up. Strike leverage. That's three. Yeah, okay, that's wind up. Strike. Leverage. Didn't want to waste my precious entertainer, poor bad. Like that would have been too much, so no. That's what I wanted to uh, see here. Finally getting out of that nasty corner there. Alrighty. It wants to spawn X again. So I'd say it's worth going on in here. Have to kill that thing one day or one day sooner or later, you know. There we go. Hiss hiss. All right. Sadly, I don't have a uh, fireball available right now. Would be really cool. But you know, is as it is. So, 43 damage. I don't know, next turn we might be actually able to kill that thing. So there's a big fat slash incoming. Well, let's try if I'm able to uh, just overwhelm that thing. Yeah. Whew! That was rough. Rougher than I had bought. So, double take. Clone one card in your hand and place it on top of your draw pile, I see. So... Cripple. <laughs> Extra vulnerability. So, the, the clear downside of this game is it has way too many copied cards from Slay the Spire. Cripple. That's a copied card from the... Uh, from from that class. Too many cards are heavily inspired, let's call it like that. But um, that's the only that's the only thing that I see so far that I don't like. Deal one damage plus one additional damage for each jab in your deck. Okay. If damage is dealt, add a copy to your discard pile. So yeah, all right. Self exhaust. Flurry. Deal to damage three times. Rope hook. Pull a target within two taunts to you or pull yourself towards the arena walls. Adrenaline. Oh yeah, I want that. That's a no-brainer. Demon Slayer Sword. Increase damage by two, apply one death mark. Certainly more useful than the rusty dagger here. Or is it? Nah. I like my damage over time stuff, so. Oh, an accessory! Gain one energy each turn. Reduce limit of cards in hand by two. 
Hurling weapons no longer destroys them. Restore 3 HP when you kill an enemy. I want that. This is the easiest thing. Does this game have any necro cards? I don't think so. Alright, we have two accessory slots here. But I, I do not know, Aikishi. I, I really don't know. So we get to play now in a different arena, alright? Like I said before, I mostly picked up this game because I found it a very fitting uh, pick for today and uh, I wanted to find out where all the good um, ratings came from, you know. So, I don't have anything that I want to do here, so we can't, can't rock anybody here either. But let's go for it, change tactics and uh, check out if we uh, get lucky and uh, no. Alright, too bad. Would have been really awesome to uh, get one of my fireballs, but whatever. So, here we go. So, we're going to blind that guy and apply leverage. Bam. Although, I gotta be careful, I'm maneuvering myself in near closer to the wall yet again. This is... Uh, has been the last time already a problematic moment. Ah, here we go. But mostly because I haven't had enough fireball applications in the last fight. Gotta say. If I would have been able to incinerate the spiders away the way I wanted to, it would have been way less of a problem there. Okay, so I am able to... Uh, to kill off somebody here. Or even two. Yeah, with the adrenaline in my hand, it's possible. Oh yeah, this game is awesome. Like, uh, I was skeptical, and I was very close to not uh, doing it, uh, or featuring it, until I tried it out. I was like, alright, let's, let's give it a go. I mean, I wasn't sure what I wanted to stream the, for the remainder of the day today, but uh, hell yeah, man. This is, uh, I like the depth of uh, strategizing your stuff here. It's, uh, it's really cool. And due to the uh, way things work here, the combat doesn't feel um, samey or anything. It feels very innovative. Oh, oh! I could I could use slam to even traverse farther. Okay, cool. So we totally roasted these guys. And I love about this game that right now, this fight, I didn't play any card that gave me block. I won this entirely via movement, and this feels good. This this gives a uh, you know this gives a combat feeling uh, about this game that I would miss that I miss with uh, with many um, similar deck builder games. It's very unique. Flaming weapons. Oh yeah, let's do this or combust. Apply burn to every enemy within range. Mm, no no no, I want the flaming weapons. And so far I see a. Quite a lot of different options to to uh, to build your character, and due to the fact that you have items, accessories, and a deck, which you can all swap out and consumables, this is a pretty cool system so far. Really like it. like what I see here. I'm positively surprised. All right, let's go for a random event. A fellow gladiator who has given up fighting sits on the ground. By heirloom weapon, compound crossbow. Increase damage by two, attack up to four tiles. Shoot through multiple targets, alright. Reload. Requires one combat of the same color to reload after each shot. Well, no thanks. Throw to apply one immobilized. Hmm. Place a crippling trap. No thanks, dude. I'm uh, I'm really not down. So let's uh, see. Mm. Let's remove one of those uh, many many uh, blue strikes that I got here. Certainly don't need that too badly. So here we have now two elite fights and a regular fight. I'm really getting I'm getting into this. It's really cool. Alright, so we got ourselves a Hellhound and a couple of uh, 
shield gladiator dudes there. So, uh, easy move, of course. Get on in there. Entertain us! And, uh, there we go. Dagger, Warrior Potion, Rusty Shield. Right. So, this guy has a uh, shoving attack in mind. Sadly, I don't have any movement uh, ability, so I'm just going to let's see Warrior Potion with a power move on the ground. Take it. Toggling the power move greatly increases your weapon's potential, although it can only be used for a limited amount of times. It recharges every five. Alright, so power move effect. Increase one additional damage. So uh, this sounds like I can use these items whenever I want to. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright. Whoa, 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 what? Spiky. Ah, okay. I see. That's why. So... Hurl weapon. Ah, I see. Don't really get how I'm supposed to use that, but I don't want to try it out in a uh, spicy situation like this. This guy is really annoying. He's, he has a... Uh, ton of HP, but, uh, well, there's, uh, no need for me to use the leverage there. So, yeah, let's use straight, let's use, uh, change tactics and see, yeah, well, I was hoping to get one, uh, oh, I misread that, I thought he would be, uh, attacking somewhere else, sorry. Ah, oh, now I see how this is supposed to, to be read. Okay, so... I bet it's especially bad when they are shoving you into a uh, wall with that. So let's see. Yeah, that applies a stun if you get smacked into a wall. Only makes sense. So well. Ah, alright. Opting into that takes out that. Alright. Just makes uh, only makes sense. All right, I'm I'm getting messed up now, hard. Too many mistakes that I did there. But I felt like this was going way too good in the first place, so Imperial Lands. Hey, Wild Heine Games, welcome. Happy to see you, mate. Hope you're having a good one, and uh, enjoy watching me getting killed. So we got to uh, walk on over here. Let's do another wind-up to have a especially powerful attack. Well, let's see. Hurl weapon. This will permanently destroy it. All right. So I can use weapons to to fling them. All right. Oh yeah, I got a fireball. This must be worth something. But they really don't care, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's it for me. Well, that's okay. It's been my first uh, rodeo here, so. So I think that every card in this game, which allows you to move in in any uh, in any uh, in any way, is extremely valuable. Like, every movement effect in this game is massively, uh, valuable. Alright, that's that. We die. Well, that's okay. First round. So, let's see. Um... Difficulty. Classes. Slave. Whatever that means. Uh, per slave arena conquered. Permanent bonus. Two coins. Gold to kill coins. Whatever that means. So, two runs achieved, new class unlocked warrior, so obviously there are classes. I was wrong about that. 
All right. Ah, that's uh, one of eight playable classes. So slave was the first one. Now we're talking business. I got hunter, samurai, deprived. So, guys, hunter or warrior? What do you say? Let's see. Collection. There's uh, information. Encountered 12 or 58 enemies. All right. Run history. All right. Cool, too. Um, it's the... As far as I see, you get a different uh, starting deck. Here they have upgraded a, a different deal to damage plus one additional damage for every five cards in your deck. That's different. Ground Slam and Warcry are also new cards, and you obviously start also with a two-handed sword. And the Hunter gets to start with a Rusty Crossbow, and a different so uh, type of Strike, which gain one precision when used to reload, okay. So it's really most about the starting deck as far as I see. Oh, and you get a passive here, Battle Heart, and gain one block for every five cards in your deck at the start of each turn. The Warrior really seems to benefit from a big deck. It's the class that's meant to be played with a big deck. More damage for more cards, more block for more cards. It's, uh, I think that's a very beginner-friendly uh, class too. Hunter is a bit more complicated here. The benefit there is we get ranged attacks. The downside is we have to reload after each attack. So I really have a hard time deciding there. Both, both options look attractive. Well. I'm going to refresh my cup of tea and hope that I have an answer. Ranged is always better when it comes to survival, so try Hunter. Alright. I think it's uh, it's the more demanding class, gameplay-wise, but, you know, we're, we're not among rookies here. Only uh, b uh, among arena rookies. So, I wonder if it was dumb of me to uh, not grind out the remaining fights before going against the champion. Mystery shop, alright. Everything in it was be precious with kill coins, all right? So the uh, kill coins are the currency that permanently increase one item slot, permanently increase one accessory slot, all right? So... Yeah, definitely want the item slot because... Uh, you know, as, as great as it might be to get myself some other stuff. More consumables? Amazing. More consumables are always cool. So, let's uh, create something. Lash out. Play all fatigue in your hand and deal three damage, additional damage each. Heavy blow. Think fast. Draw three cards. Conserve. Well, poof. I always like things that uh, allow me to refresh my uh, uh, my deck. Faint. Gain focus. Does not consume focus. Is sin. Damage is dealt. Keep half of your focus. Alright. Parry. Combust. Well. Let's go for... Let's go for the faint. How does this create thing work? Create. Don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> ah, you mean that. Um, it's just creating new cards. You get a selection for a couple of new cards if you do that. That's all it means, as far as I know. Alrighty, so let's see. 
Oof. Well. That sucks. These guys want to immobilize me. Ah, roll. Move one tile. Alright, that's good. So, I move over here. And I... Oh, it requires four energy. I see. Crap. So, crippling trap would go here. So... Let's go for a think fast. It doesn't cost me anything. So, the blue crossbow needs to be reloaded. The red crossbow still has ammo. But sadly, I'm, I lack one point of damage there to uh, kill the guy off. I mean, it's not that super terrible right now. Uh, ah, this breaks the moment I kill him off. I see. Alright. And then, then it's pretty harmless. Those thingies are still... Mm-hmm, all right. Requires one combat of the same color to be reloaded, I see. Here goes that. And we're going to reload that gun here. And now I'm held fast by these two guys. That sucks a bit, but uh, we'll see. Ah, my guns are, are empty. Dang it. So, here goes. The reload. Kill off that guy. Oh, wait a sec. Gain one strength whenever you play an exhaustible card. Oh boy, I need exhaustible cards. Cool. Yeah, well, one damage. That's a fine. So, boom. And now... Well, it's quite a nasty cost uh, to, uh, to all these things. Select yourself to reload. Um, I do. Ah, oh, well, you just pull it over the gun. Alright. So... Well, I'm getting into it. So, now I don't have any fitting color. So, we just reload this turn. Cool. That's pretty cool. Hi, I'm North Korean. And so, <laughs> I'm sorry that I cannot pronounce your name, but I'm, very, but I'm happy that to see you here. And yes, this game is quite difficult, so... Uh... Just, uh, just keep playing and you get better, I'd, I'd say. And try to uh, always think about what's, uh, what, what could have been done better. Knockback. Ooh. Dupe. Deal six damage, return a random zero energy card from your discard pile to your hand. No, we're going to take swing. I like this uh, because it gives me the ability to move my enemy around. So, Muscle Potion gives me strength, hell yeah. Goodo. So. What a postule bomb. Yuck. What's wrong with you people? Alright, so we're going to move and uh... This guy is uh, easily killable, so we're going to shoot twice and reload. Now I I understood that reloading doesn't uh, take any of my uh, doesn't take any action points. I mistook that. You played Aeronor. All card games look easy mode to me. I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Though here, well, this guy wants to bomb me. That ain't cool. And uh, I'm not really able to get out of that. Ugh. Crap. Well, okay. So there goes. Let's use that think fast. 
Faint roll. Yeah, well. Ah, it's, te it's 10 damage, I guess. Sometimes you just get one in your face. Could just shoot that guy, though. Yeah, let's do that. It's just like, mitigate 4 points of damage versus dealing 10 points of damage, you know. So, let's move. Shoot. Shoot again. Reload. This plane really cool. Like, uh, there's, uh, you get a, get a feeling for a kind of a pattern there, and it uh, really feels amazing. So, I better move away myself. Yeah, let's do this like that. Swing. Ah, I need to reload first. Swing. So, yeah, this works too. Cool. And, uh, let's put down a crippling trap there. I don't know which... Oh, well. This'll bother this guy, though. So, it's fine. Now, reload... Shoot, load, shoot. Cool. Sadly cannot reload another time, but... Won't be necessary either. Okay then. This is starting to be a lot of fun. Raise shield. Alright. Final blow. More damage if I get to retain that. Well, let's try how well I can play with that. Sapping blowgun. Shoot straight forward. Apply to sapped. Reduce attack damage. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's a consumable. The combat system of this game is a blast, isn't it? I... I was like, yeah, let's see if it is fun or not, and then I was uh, doing some moves, and then I was like, wow, <laughs> this feels so kinetic. So... So, receive muscle pain. At the end of your turn, permanently reduce cost by one. Lose 10 HP, or receive <laughs> <see> injury. <laughs> Let's lose some HP, it's fine. This at least gives me an incentive to, uh, to go through this. So, muscle training. Upgrade old strike cards in your deck. Upgrade old guard cards in your deck. Upgrade a random card. I'll upgrade all the strikes. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. I got some muscle pain, but, uh... No pain, no gain. Alright, let's go for an elite fight. I'll, I'll die now, I bet. Yuck. Alright, initiative. Block. Strike. Reload. And, uh... Alright. Mm. These guys are rather pesky, aren't they? So, let's put down a crippling trap at that spot. I get seven points of damage in here, so... Well... Blowgun that guy, why not? I mean, items are there, especially consumables are meant to be used. And, uh... It sucks if you ha if you are um, dying with a item in your pocket that you could have used, you know. So I got a swing in my hand. That's pretty cool. So we're going to we're going to hop hop on over here. So let's see. I got two action points left. Then we're going to use a swing to get rid of that guy. The load and let's see. Let's use a think fast, you know. Faint. Hmm. I like the idea of that. And reload. So.
So here it goes. Moving away here. This guy wants to charge, so I have to do something about that. Well, I'd say we're we're going to uh, we're going to kill that guy now. I was considering the crippling trap, but uh, well, now I got the roll on my hand, though. So this guy's dashing. This guy's stunned. So we can just move on over here. So let's eliminate that card, you know. It's a good opportunity. And, uh, well... Let's just give that dude a, uh, a nasty arrow in the face. You know, why not? How that hurt. So I'm sure that you're... I'm, I'm going to make sure that... You're not getting away with that, buddy. So, here it goes. And now, let's use that roll. And shoot him in the face. There we go. So, the muscle pains... Eh, well. Gotta get rid of those muscle pains sooner or later, eh? So, let's move on the Lightning Potion. Status cards cost zero this turn. Hell yeah! Muscle Pain be gone! I found a very, very tasty potion on the floor. I drank it and now I'm fine. Alright. Ah, it's a blue attack. Necessary to reload. Okay. So, let's see. guy wants to charge on me. I'm just going to sidestep this. You see, there's no particular good reason uh, to uh, take any any risk there when this moron is going to uh, stun himself and uh, give me all the open the all the opening that I need to take him down. Here we go. Defeated God Brother. I love it that I unlock every time a new card whenever I kill an elite fight. It's pretty cool. It's a good and unlocking system. Apply bleed whenever you deal unblocked damage. Cool. Watchful. Mm -hmm. Another retainer. Muscle memory. Select one card from your hand. Yeah. Beef up. Gain strength. Shuffle. Switch positions with the target. Exhaust. I gain strength whenever I exhaust something. Hmm. Shuffle is a nice safety card. Let's pick it up. Stone Shield. Well. Although it's pretty cool, I don't feel like I'm the kind of guy who is wearing armor, so. Let's not. Alright. So. Holy crap. That's a lot of dudes. Sheesh. Alright, we're going to move on over here, and, uh... Let's reload our guns. First guy is going to go down, so I can use the initiative in this direction. Slap down a crippling trap here, and, uh... No, we're going to use the feint, because that gives me focus. Focus is good, focus is more damage. Sadly, don't have a blue attack to reload. So this guy cannot move this turn. Can I bring up 18 damage in one turn? Mm. I don't really think so. Therefore, I'm rather going to move this way. So, blue attack? Yeah, well, let's go for a think fast first. Okay. So, one less to worry about. Both weapons are empty, though. But nobody managed to get up close to me. That's pretty cool. So, uh, we're going to move on over to this grid. Reload. Reload. Another guy down. Well, why not faint into this guy right away to get some more precision there? Precision stacks are awesome. Let's drift on over here. A gemstone. Alright. All right. 
So let's keep that to, to whack it in somebody's face, why not? You know what they say, gems are truly, truly outrageous. So there we go. This is uh, seriously one of the most fun things that I've played in a while. Alright, so can I bring up 20 damage against this guy? I highly doubt it. So we're going to clap up blocks for the very first time since a long time and uh, shoot him in the face and just block it, you know. Blocking is not really my typical approach, but whatever, sadly. So, roll. Let's throw stuff in his face, yeah. I love this about this game, like, uh... The improvisation aspect of this game is really a lot of fun. There we go. There's only one dude left, so we got this. Both weapons are emptied, though, so we... Better uh, move away and just reload our weapons for the next turn. I like this. Like uh, they made the weapon system so that uh, you really have the feeling that ranged weapons do what they are supposed to do. You know, full on attack. Cool. The best defense plus. Blurry. Well, we're going to use the full on attack spell because it's inexhaustible. And exhaustibles are awesome. His ranged character feels better than slave. I think it is uh, it is the incentive of the devs that everything feels better than the slave character. I or at least I hope so. So let's go for another regular fight. Well, let's see. These suckers want to attack me for nine points of damage. Wow. I'm not going to take that. wasn't really necessary to fling a rock in its face, but uh, certainly feel better with that. Alrighty. So let's just move this direction. Reload a blue arrow. Uh, the full-on attack will now be exhausted. Whenever you play an exhaustible card, yeah, well, whatever. Didn't pay attention there well, so my own fault. So, well, I ain't got anything to work with right now, so we're just going to reload one gun. Let that thing step into a trap and shoot it in its face. Bam. Payback. Deal 18 damage. Reduce cost by one each time you lose HP. Well, okay. Ground slam. Jump two tiles and forcibly knock back target. Okay. I like that. Landing a hit reduces the cost to zero. Well, yeah, you're, you're standing right on top of your enemy after you do that, so... Just makes sense, but I want to have it. So... Granite Potion. Gain 3 Hardy. Increase block gain from cards. Oh, yeah. No yeah, thanks. All right, so let's see what the shop has in store for me. Well, buy weapons and consumables, upgrade weapons. I feel like uh, buying a better, a better bow would be awesome or something like that. Can you upgrade your cards in this game? Yes, somehow you can. I haven't managed to do so yet, but it is a thing. Great sword, shield breaker, master sword. Well, hmm. Let's reroll that repeating crossbow. Hell yeah. That's what I was looking for. So.
So add power moves. Select a weapon to increase its power moves. Attack two times. Let's see how that'll play out. I really got no clue, but uh, according to what I read, it's supposed to be really good. So we're going to upgrade both of these weapons there. Or, well, not the Rusty Crossbow. I don't think that's uh, that this thing is worth it. Okay, so we got that. Let's rest up. Train. I bet death. That's where you upgrade your cards. So let's see. Think fast. Draw more cards. Shuffle. Shuffle plus. It's no longer exhausting. It's actually not as interesting as it sounds. Crippling trap plus. Cost free. Pretty interested. Ground slam is upgraded. So. Deal 2 damage plus additional damage for each block. Now, well, that's not really interesting for me. Faint plus. Well, that's more focus. Uh, swings, just more damage. Roll starts with a lower... Um, with a lower cost. I'm going to upgrade the Crippling Trap. Because I really feel like that makes the card so much more versatile. Giving it the ability to be uh, triggered several times. So, elite fight? Let's do this. One elite fight and then the boss. No, not the least little bit megalomaniac. No, no. Alrighty, so I got what I need to uh, gun those suckers down. Oh, wait a sec. Reload. Ah, here. Power move attack. Ah, I see. Whatever. Let's clap the uh, trap down here. So, full on attack. Oh, yeah. Power move. So, I would have done that twice this way. Health potion. Restore 35 HP. Wow. That's a lot, isn't it? So, let's reload the guns. Oh, sheesh. What an idiot. He's going to suffer so br brutally here. Because I bet he's going to walk into my uh, my trap for sure. So he's he's actually already stunned. Poor sucker. Let's keep whacking. So let's see. Reload. Reload. Alright. Probably we're not going to do too much, but uh, the crippling traps are racking up here. Oh, he's still stunned. Hmm. Oh boy, full on attack. So can ah, the power move is only applicable once per fight. I see. Okay, now I got it. How these things are supposed to work. So, faint, reload, swing. Alright, there's still a little bit of the guy going around, but uh, really not too much. Okay. That was a spanking. <laughs> Trump card. Select one card from your hand to retain until played. Exhaust. Mm -hmm. Heavy Rain, Change Tactics. Oh yeah, Change Tactics is a exhaustible. Let's go for that. Lay all fatigue in your hand gains one strength each. That's pretty awesome too. But uh, we're going to go for a Change Tactics. Come on. Great Sword, Long Sword. Well, mm, nah. Don't need these. Alrighty. So... Yeah, let's just keep grinding through this. I don't know if this is actually smart or dumb. I got no clue. Just so you know. Now then, Osafune, Knuckle Dagger, Spy Hunter. They, they, these Americans, they love to, uh, or, or Koreans or whatever. Uh, you know, that's just, the, just the, the German word for a double-handed sword, that's all. 
and they don't even get the umlauts correct. This needs two dots above the A to be right. Sorry. So let's see, repeating crossbow, what would that do? Uh, we get a second application of that per fight, let's do this. I mean, shooting something twice is amazing. Alright, let's go for the champion, I don't care about that single fight there. I'm sick of this job. Alright, dude. I know what you mean, I know what you mean. So... Here, full-on attack. Let's use that as a power move. Because why not, you know? So I'm out of energy already? Oh yeah, I should have used that potion right from the get-go. But... Whatever! Okay. Oh, jumpies. So. Oh, the trap would remove the rock. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's not like I have too much of an issue with that, but, uh... Let's see, I still have points, so we want to... Discard that stuff here. There we go. So here we're now in a little bit of a uh, uncomfortable situation. Is it impossible to move him? No, it ain't. So let's do this. Another um, reload, power move, full on attack. Oh, well, the swing wasn't that necessary, but... Uh. Ooh, compound crossbow. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, so, strike reload. In your face. Reload. Crippling trap. And it's a shame that I don't have uh, anything else that I can't play here. But whatever. Guy still stunned. Uh, slapped himself some big amount of block on himself again, but actually... This ain't as uh, useful as it looks. Let's just put it down like that. Clyde, welcome! It's a very new title, you know? Or, well, it's uh, freshly out of early access, I should rather say. It's been around for early access since a while. But it's been on my list of games where I'm like, wait until it's done, and it paid off. It's a great game so far. So I unlocked a new card, Last Stand. Oh boy. Rewards for all the fatigue, I like that. Repel. Gain one counter. Terrorize. Apply weak to all enemies. Concentration. Gain focus each turn. Swipe. I like the concentration. So, compound crossbow. Hell yeah. Please, please. A free crippling trap. I'll take that one too. And an accessory. Gain one energy each turn. Receive four old wound at the start of each fight. Alright, not interested. Stormbracer. Start each fight with one Rage and three Sapped. Huh, alright. My damage I begin with is lower, but I gain damage each turn. Javelinier Bracer. Hurling weapons no longer destroys them. No, no. The Stormbracer is pretty slick for me. Because I'm okay with starting out weaker. If I get free um, strength stacks each turn. That sounds like a great deal to me. Famous last words, but whatever. So, last time I was able to finish that level at all. So, spiky. Um, I read that as if it would apply to me even if I... Um, even if I shoot from afar. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see about that. So... I'm 
going to use this angle here, I think. So 12 damage are possible. You know, I'm going to slap up a guard because I, I'm pretty sure that... Ah, okay. So, nothing bad happened here. Wonderful. So, do I have that cool jump skill? No, I don't. Ah, pity. So, let's see. Mm. We can use that for reloads. And let's see. Yeah, it seems as if uh, as long as I kill it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't apply the uh, reflected damage. Let's see. Yeah, it is really because of the distance. It, is, it doesn't get applied. Wonderful. I like that. Ranged attacks are not triggering spike. Pretty cool. So, yeah, let's use the change tactics primarily as a... Uh, as a means to increase my strength. And I win that. Well, I am very positive about uh, the survival here. Honestly. Gotta say, I didn't understand what I was doing in the first place uh, on many pots there. Brand. Deal for damage, deal, apply one pyrophobia. Ugh, well. Parry, deal damage, gain block equal to damage dealt. No, we're going to skip. If there's nothing I want to have, I'd rather see myself skipping. Crossbow here, well, has no superpowers, so I'm not uh, interested either. Okay, so meditate. Choose to create, forget, or switch. Elite, oh uh, well. We're going to uh, go for, let's see, I want to forget something, or do I? Actually, no. We're going to create something. Empty mind. Select cards to exhaust from your hand. Oh yeah, I want that. Or do I? Yeah, this card exhausts itself. Great. That's what I want. This is giving me bonus damage. So let's go for an event here. Daily meal arrives just as you're about to sit in a quiet corner. So. Ah, I can now. Yeah, let's, let's do this. If I get a free card removal there, I do dig that. Because honestly, I really don't need all these blue strike cards, even if they are upgraded. Okay, let's go for another fight, and let's see how that'll play out. So, these guys are all about being nasty to me. But this guy is not as nasty as it looks. He's only um, going to snag me, which is uh, actually not as bad as it sounds. So, we're going to play Concentration on turn one. Why not? And tell you what, Vitality Potion. Hell yeah. Let's give that guy an arrow in the face. And use that spell to reload. Oh, Necro Shaman. Enemy prepares to apply to strength to a target attack to interrupt. Oh, interesting. So and the thing here is, um, I might be now be I might now be held, but uh, it ain't really that much of a biggie. Now we're shuffling that guy, and uh, look at that, he's attacking the wrong direction now, isn't it great? And uh, let's do the power move double attack, because it would be a shame not to use it. And uh, let's use Think Fast, so I get at least something to reload one of my guns. I was hoping for both guns to get reloaded, but, well, guess you cannot uh, have it your way every time. So, Crippling Trap. And I don't seem to have any reloads here. So empty mine. So let's exhaust cards. Totally gonna exhaust all the blocks. And now I gain focus each turn because I have now two stacks of concentration. So next combat attack you deal will deal additional damage. Focus is a uh, is a nice enhancer of your attacks. This guy is now vulnerable. Yeah, uh, not well, immobilized. I'm going to move myself over here because I'm uh, honestly quite uh, 
quite fed up with this little sucker here. So we're, uh... We're dealing with them. So, another application of change tactics. Oh, wrong, uh... Wrong color, but whatever. Sadly, I can't shoot him. So, now we move there. The movement inhibi uh, inhibition on the enemy is just, uh... Whew, something else, man. Totally wrecking these guys because of the uh, ability that I can prohibit them from moving as I want to. Battle stands. Poised. Draw one additional card next turn. Light-footed. Next initiative you play costs zero. Hell yeah. That's just my cup of tea. Crippling Blowgun. Apply to Vulnerable. Short Bow. Oh, cool. Well, no. I'm going to go for it. the Blowgun, because it always is nice to have some extras there. And uh, let's let's dare to pack up an elite fight, and let's see if I can't deal with that. Slimy. What's that? Add one slime to your hand whenever it deals damage. Alright. So... Clones, all right. Clones and uh, launch a special attack. Prepares to. All right. We're going to go this way, just so I have moved this turn. Let's go for Think Fast, so I can amp up my damage a little bit more, because my early game damage always sucks. Let's shoot that guy. Well, yeah, let's use a bomb. I like this. This way you got rid of that guy and uh, didn't really uh, didn't really get ourselves into any trouble there. Mega crush. So it jumps there right into the fire. Be my guest, you fool. So this thing wants to uh, copy itself. I have changed tactics in my hand. I don't see, see the any necessity of moving myself. So double shot. Mm hmm. Battle stands. Empty mind. Select cards to exhaust. Yeah, we're going to exhaust these two cards. Now we got two stacks of focus for the remainder of the battle. I like that. So that uh, idiot is standing there. Wonderful. So, well, that thing wants to clone itself now. That is a little bit uh, bothersome, I gotta say. So let's see. Concentration. Gain to focus each turn. My red gun isn't reloaded. That's a shame. That's truly, truly a shame. Well, let's use our power move effect. I get to draw new cards whenever I do so. And, uh, power shot, double, full on attack, I win. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say you, you, re you, you notice the difference between the first attempt and the second one here. Reach. Mm -hmm. Deal six damage, draw one card, and gain two momentum for each enemy attacked. Cool. Zero zone. All cards in your hand cost zero this turn. Draw one card, receive one absorbed. You can draw any more cards this turn. Holy crap, this is great. I think I want to have that. Then your ground fortify, no. This is just it's just amazing, you know. Shield potion. Yes, please. Blocks one heavy blow in my face. That sounds about useful. Alright, so, oh yeah, that's been the fight where uh, where I think I got killed. No, actually not. Postule Bomb, alright. So we got that situation once more. Mm, dang it. So I don't have any option to uh, really get this guy uh, out of my face, but whatever. We're going to get past it. So, I got that vulnerability thing. Oh yeah, that's going to solve all my problems. Make him vulnerable, 
and double shoot this guy. Problem solved. And uh, let's use change tactics just for the sake of uh, applying myself a strength card. And also I want to have something to reload my uh, red gun with, you know. There we go. So, this guy wants to move this way, these guys want to shoot. So if I move that way and I would be able to kill this guy, I'd be well off. So, let's do this. Oh! Oh, dang it. Crap. I wasn't aware of the fact that I wasn't able to shoot that far. Oh no. Ugh. Crap. Yeah, well, we're going to sip that shield potion then. This makes this entire turn an enti uh, uh, entirely poop, but whatever. Lesson learned. Ranged weapons have a maximum range. Better respect that. So, let's... get some stuff killed. So, here we go. And double shot. So we get rid of that fella. And let's do some reloads. If possible. Okay. So, got that guy. Oh, I should have went zero zone. Dang it. That would have been way better. Oh no, I didn't pay attention. Crap, these guys are so freaking annoying, gotta say. I'll never underestimate them like this ever again. So. Take these, you filthy. Alright, so... I don't think that the guard will protect me from uh, the barring damage here whatsoever. It wasn't been like that the last time and won't be like this the next time. So we're going to move on over here. And, uh, well, I got two shots. We're just going to uh, perform a roll, whatever. Yeah, I like that. This way I'm finally out of the fire. The next bomb that doesn't uh, really... Um, doesn't really aim towards me either. And... Uh, I'm just going to be able to nail that guy. Great! It's pretty cool how, how this uh, type of character plays, because it's like... Most of the time, everything is just fine until you do a mistake. And that's how it should feel when you're playing a ranged character. Strategist. Um, well, no. Deadly Touch. Apply 99 death mark and two sapped to a target. Alright. Yes, please. I like that. It's another self-exhausting card, and therefore it's awesome. Battle Axe. Increase for additional damage. Alright. So, I am now eligible to face the champion. Alright. Let's see. Mm. Weakening blowgun, grappling hook, triple fists. So, well. And let's upgrade our weapon a little bit. And, uh, well, let's see if I can't redraw another time. Kitetsu, well, no. Oh, well. Let's buy ourselves one healing potion while we're at it. So. Not too convinced of my uh, decision here, but that's okay. Trooper. Oh, well, no. 
Entertainer, Cripple, Fire Surge. Oh well, let's go for... Nah, none of these. None of these cards are really um, fitting to my build. Let's train. Deadly Touch. Three sapped instead of one sapped. Zero Zone gets cheaper. Concentration gives more focus. Empty Mind gives three focus. Yeah, well, okay. Ain't that interesting. Brr. Ah, this stops being an exhaust skill. Well, Think Fast gives one card more. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go for a concentration here because it really shines with going cheaper and um, giving me more. Oh, let's see. Ice Reaper. Alright. Adds two Frostbite to your discard pile whenever it deals damage. Alright. So. Let's move on over here. Alright, Zero Zone is amazing. If I upgraded, I should have upgraded that. Now, now I see my mistake. That was a mistake. Okay, but uh, it's okay. I learned something out of that. So, oh, oh, I can use my guards to. Re oh god. Okay. Okay, that's a big game changer. So. Let's move on here. Freezing Tile, increased cost of all movement cards, I see. So... Battle Stance. Oh, knock back. And, yeah, let's Battle Stance ourselves up. Why not? Surely doesn't hurt. So, 12 damage incoming. I got a roll card. Hmm. That's a tough cookie. I mean... I could just uh, guard it out. Alright, tell you what. We're going to keep the uh, guard cards that are necessary. But I'll flick away everything else. So let's see. Think fast. Alright. Empty mind. Well. No. I was hoping to do some uh, fancy move or anything like that, but uh, I'm actually not. Rust orb. Kill to stop. Yeah, sure. Rust bite. So, shouldn't that have dealt damage? Hmm. All right. There, I thought it would deal damage. It's not. Okay. Well, we're going to move on over here. And I got three points, uh, got three attacks available. So we're going to go for a uh, regular strike. One swing. And we're going to reload our stuff. And shoot another time. Okay. And the swing is quite amazing. This is uh, one really, really cool card. Especially for a ranged character. Oh, cards to exhaust. Hmm. Let's exhaust these to get a big pile of focus there. Okay. Let's move on over here. Oh, I need to reload first, I see. 
Faint. Strike. Oh, he's stunned. Hell yeah. Finally. So, let's see. We're going to crack up a double shot here. And then... Let's do it like that. Okay. Yeah, moving just got a lot costier, but I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Frostbite cannot be cast at all. Okay. It's been a very, very vital uh, thing to realize that you are allowed to uh, to re to to reload your weapon with. Uh, with guards. I had no clue. Alright, let's uh, pop the swing on him. And again, th this is just uh, the power of uh, placing your enemy somewhere else. Let's do a double shot. Might be winning off of that. Yep. And that's just how effing powerful it is to be pushing your enemy one tile away from you. That's that. Alright, Arsenal. Fill all empty item slots with shurikens. Okay. They deal damage and uh, they bleed mist. Alright, why not? So, final blow, no thanks. Shield charge plus parry lunge. Echo. Return a card from the exhaust pile to your hand. Exhaust. Yeah, definitely. Everything which is exhaust is great for me. Sapping trap. Hmm. No thanks. Turtle Charm. Gain one energy each turn. Receive three shackles and three hardy. Okay. Oh, yuck. Iron Bracer. Gain two block at the start of each turn. Demon Slayer Bracer. Apply one death mark whenever you deal damage. Oh, hell yeah. Energy gain whenever I... Uh... Yes, please. And as you see here, I am only allowed to wear one of these items, and not both. I should have picked some some other thing there. Whoopsie. Final level, Royal Arena. Alright. Let's see how I'm getting my ass clapped now. So, here we go. These guys... Explosive shot. Alright. That's just a regular shot. So that means if I am, well, how far is he allowed to shoot? Hmm. Nobody knows. Um, well. Hmm. Well, I'd say I'll just, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'll do here. This is a really, really crappy situation to be in from the beginning. I mean, I am able to push this guy away into a different direction, but at, then still I'll be on this grid instead of this grid, so it ain't much of a help. 16 damage incoming here, so that's also quite a lot. I think I'm going to make the step forward, yeah, and uh, clap him some uh, ashes in the face. Calzer, hi there! Happy to see him, mate. Well, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Hope you're doing fine too. So let's clap down a, clap, uh, a crippling trap here, and uh, let's see. I mean, would I be able to kill this guy? That'll be 22 damage. That'll be 10. Yeah, well, if I'd fainted beforehand. Let's see. Yeah, no. No! Not like this! Come on, because of one point of damage? Crap. Come on, precision or anything? No. No. Mm, yeah, well, okay. I tried. Lucky fella. Yeah, well, man, what can I say? I am waiting for devs finally to give me the key. 
I have already, um, I'm already on the uh, waiting list for Stardius, and uh, the, the last I heard from the devs was wait until Friday. If you don't have a key until then, just write us and we're, uh, we're going to set, the, set, your, set you up. So far, it's Friday, and I haven't heard of these folks, so... Still have to do the right thing. I wanted to uh, feature Star Davis uh, already this week, you know. Actually was planning to do that yesterday. Alright, we're going to use the Ground Slam for what it's worth to just jump up in it above. Pretty nifty, isn't it? Mini bangers. Okay. So, full on attack, doubles. I like that. One guy gone. Good old. Well, don't ask what uh, what the hell's going on there. I don't know, my man. I don't know. Gotta say, the the dev himself sounded a bit pissed about the the people who are managing this uh, not getting it done too. So, all right, dead. Uh, I messed it up. Deadly touch should have been there. Oh well, whatever. So I'm playing like crap right now. That's a clear sign that it is about time to uh, to take a break for me. So let's see. Oh, well, I don't want to be in his uh, circle of attack here. So rather set myself up like that. Er? Why did he just take zero damage there? Activates after receiving damage when activated. Oh, you can, you are only allowed to damage him once per turn. I see. Nifty. Okay. So let's use good old change tactics. Clap. Ooh, reload. Yeah, well... Glad that you guys are interested about Stardeus. I'm going to uh, write the uh, message to the uh, dev right after the stream, and we'll see what, what'll uh, happen after that, you know? Low blow. Oh, interrupt. Hell yeah. Interrupt is great. The enemy gains strength out of that because they're pissed because you kick them in the crotch. But little do I care. Little do I care. All right, this game is awesome. This game is really, really awesome. But I also really, really need a break because uh, you know it's been a long stream, and uh, I thank you all for your time. So thanks for hanging around, everybody. Drop me a comment down below, leave me a thumbs up, or even consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up. There's also links to Patreon, PayPal, and buy me a coffee now if you want to show me some support directly. I'd be more than appreciating that. And if you missed that stream, do the bell thing at the subscription or check out Discord and Twitter where I announce all the streams right before they happen. Thanks for the good time, everybody. This game is worth your time, and I hope to see you all again quite soon. Have a good one until then.